Have you ever experienced a dream or vision that became a reality? Well, today we have a story of just that. A story of a dream that started in 1940 of a few individuals who wanted to open a summer camp for local children in the small town of Brooks, Maine. Just 11 years later, on January 15, 1951, at an abandoned boys camp on Lake Passagasawakeg in Brooks, Maine, the Central Maine Bible Conference was formed and Fairhaven Camps began its journey. From the first camping season in 1951, thousands of campers and counselors and families from the surrounding communities and beyond have had their lives impacted by the ministry of Fairhaven Camps. Why did they have this vision? The answer is simple. In Waldau County, there are few organized and constructive options for children to spend their time outside of school. Without a safe place to spend their time, too many youths are vulnerable to falling into destructive behaviors. So what's the solution? Our young people in Maine deserve access to safe and positive environments, opportunities for growth and development, and a sense of community belonging. What better place to be challenged and develop a new skill than a horse barn? From learning work ethic to appropriately handling a horse, we can empower them to achieve their full potential and chart a brighter future. Children deserve access to safe and positive environments and opportunities for growth and development and a sense of community and belonging. That's why Fairhaven Camps is building an equine facility that fosters all of this and more. It is vital to the mission of Fairhaven Camps. Many of the children that attend camp are foster children and are sponsored by the Maine State Children's Home, and their experiences at camp with horses may be their one and only opportunity to ride a horse. You can see the testimonials of just how camp has touched the lives of our former campers. The plans for this facility are well underway thanks to funding from our generous donors. The barn exemplifies phase one of the entire project. Take a look at the 3D models and the design. Internal site planning has been completed and harvesting local lumber is already underway. While camp has primarily been a summer offering only, this facility will enable us to offer horse boarding and equine assisted therapy throughout the year. Our business model includes an equestrian facility providing riding instruction services during summer camp and in the off season with lessons for children and adults, trail riding, horse boarding, and equine assisted learning. The newly developed program will generate income year round and cater to riders of all ages. Our horse stables can take in four boarded horses and can retain four to five lesson horses throughout the year. So I've mentioned equine therapy as a planned service, but how can equine therapy help? Let me give you an example. Jamie was a teenage girl who came to counseling to work through issues related to anxiety and depression. During Jamie's first visit, she chose a horse named Cinnamon. Over the course of the first few weeks, Jamie began to notice the ways in which she interacted with Cinnamon paralleled the way she interacted with people. As time went on, Jamie began to challenge these patterns by testing new ways of communicating and being assertive with Cinnamon. As a result, Jamie transferred her new skills and began communicating more effectively with people. I have another example of how effective equine therapy is. 
John, who struggled with anxiety and depression, found comfort in horse therapy. In sessions, he learned how to approach and interact with the horses in a calm and controlled manner, which improved his own self-awareness and emotional regulation. With the help of the horses, John was able to overcome some of his fears and gain confidence in himself. Horse therapy provided a safe and supportive environment for John to work on his mental health and improve his overall well-being. Stories like these are what is motivating us to get our facility and program up and running. We need an adequate stable to do it. So far, we've raised enough seed money to get started by harvesting the wood for the lumber and begin the site work. The total need is $510,000. Our goals for the upcoming months are to rapidly construct a barn and finish out our fundraising efforts. We have an aggressive timeline to open our equine facility in time for summer camp. Here's the incredible team working on this critical project. Wendy Jo Culbertson, Acting Executive Director and Chairman of the Board of the Central Maine Bible Conference. Aaron Littlefield, who is a lifelong supporter of camp and currently serving on the board. And of course, myself, Tristan Starbird, former executive director and current board member. We also have two local contractors working together and committed to deliver our plans to fruition. DP Porter Construction and LG Whitcomb Landscaping. Taking all of this into account, the impact of your generosity cannot be overstated. With your donation, you have the power to bring joy and growth to riders of all ages through the incredible experiences they have at Fairhaven Camps. Your generosity will leave a lasting legacy and make a profound difference in the lives of those who will benefit from the camps programs. So we ask you to join us in this exciting adventure and make your donation today. Your prayer and generosity is greatly appreciated and will be remembered for years to come. Please don't hesitate to contact us below if you have any questions.